South Carolina's Poison Control Center has issued caffeine guidelines following the death of a Midlands teenager. The coroner blamed the 16-year-old's death on too much caffeine. WYF News 4's Myra Ruiz joins us now with the latest. Myra. Well, Gabby and Nigel, tonight the Palmetto Poison Center has issued a caffeine use warning as an upstate pediatric cardiologist also shares some insight. 16-year-old Davis Kripe died on April 26 from what the coroner called caffeine-induced arrhythmia. I stand before you bro as a broken-hearted father and hope that something good can come from this. Parents, please talk to your kids about the dangers of these energy drinks. The Palmetto Poison Center is urging parents to talk to their children about the dangers of caffeinated drinks. The Food and Drug Administration recommends that adults consume no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. The average cup of coffee has between 100 and 150. Energy drinks can contain up to 300. Not only do they have caffeine, but they have other substances in them that create similar symptoms, and so they, they multiply them a factor. Uh, jitteriness, um, complaining of heart racing, uh, anxiety type symptoms, chest tightness, maybe even some dizziness. Some of those symptoms have led grown-ups to alter their caffeine consumption. Sometimes I drink coffee about probably twice a week. That's it? That's it. I have about one cup of coffee in the morning. And that's enough? Yes. Holly Carson is steering her three children away from caffeine. They have no caffeine. Yeah, we don't drink sodas at home. Dr. Horn says caffeine has fueled the lives of his own family members. Mari uh, used to drink uh, six cans of Diet Coke a day. At one point, his mother-in-law would drink more than 20 cups of coffee a day. She was a school teacher, and all the teachers drank these big coffee cups and just walked around all day long drinking coffee. So. Uh... And the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that children and adolescents do not consume any caffeine.